Good morning, family. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Boyce here. Uh, first, I want to thank the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, I appreciate the support. Um, know that you're prayed for. Uh, I don't call you really subscribers. I call you family. And I thank you for your prayers. Uh, I want to continue talking about um, the Masons. And I want to get with uh, talking about the women of the Masons. And they're called the Eastern Stars. Same organization, only dedicated to women. I'm going to get, if the Lord is willing, I'm going to get into um, another one called the Daughters of Job, which is also related to this. This is how they branch out. This is exactly what happens here, how cults branch out and recruit other people. Fun. But anyway, the Eastern Stars are a secret society like the Masons. Uh, the both organizations work in concert and many people belong to both groups. A lot of people. This goes all the way back to the 1800s. And I think a little bit, yeah, start, I think it started back in the 1800s. Probably further back than that. But if you notice something interesting, your cults, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, uh, even some people in the Pentecostal, there are pastors who actually belong to these societies. Yeah. There are actual pastors out there that are preaching from a pulpit that belongs to these societies. Wow. A lot of your, uh, I think, um, Russell Tays, um, Joseph Smith, um, they had dabblings in Masons, in the Masons as well. So you see, it's all demonic. The Order of the Eastern Star, and I took notes again. Of course, you have to take notes. You got to do research on this stuff. It's a secret society that's similar to the Masons. Like I said, both organizations uh, work in concert together. Many people belong to both groups. Their motto, where they got the name Eastern Star, is from Matthew 2.2. 2. And that's where we have seen the star in the east and some come to worship him. That's the verse that they use. The Order of the Eastern Star maintains that it's not a secret society. Strange. The group calls itself the largest worldwide fraternal organization and more than 500,000 men and women are members and is growing, believe it or not. They have a funeral back here across the street. I told you yesterday that um, I live across the street from a um, Masonic cemetery and uh, mausoleum. They have funerals back there at least three or four times a week. And I mean, they are huge. I mean, the people is lines of cars. They have to be directed back there. I watch it. Lines of cars. So it seems like a big dignitary thing, you know, but it's not. The organization began back in the 1800s in the United States by someone by the name of Dr. Rob Morris. He was a Mason and he started, he organized the first grand chapter of the order. Morris developed the rituals and creeds of the order, supposedly based on his belief in God and biblical stories. The Eastern Stars began as a group for women who were related to the male Masons.
but now admits both genders are official members. According to Eastern Star's official website, the purpose of the organization, like I said yesterday, they're involved in a lot of charity work. Lots of charity work. Sorry for the sun. Um, they're involved in a lot of stuff. That's why you have to be careful and do your research on who you're giving money to because you could be um, supporting an organization that their underlying message is satanic. You never know. I did that with Shriners. I did that with a lot of people and I had no idea that they were, that their message was, uh, that, the, that they were like that. Um, so they're, the purpose of their organization are charitable, educational, fraternal, and scientific. <laughs> this is a uh, watch cat. Um, the order supposedly promotes moral values and personal goodness. Building an order which is truly dedicated to charity, which the Bible calls love truth and loving kindness the purpose of the eastern star and later on i'm going to get into their rituals and how you get initiated into this group the purpose seems honorable at first even biblical if it's so biblical why is there so much secrecy this group has a lot of secrets just like the Masons do. There is nowhere in the Bible where Jesus' earthly ministry was secret. His ministry was extremely public. He did not shroud his purpose in mystery. He was open and honest with everybody regarding his teachings and his lifestyle. Why are these organizations so secret? And they claim to be so biblical. That's because they serve two masters. One is their number one master, and that's Satan himself. And they use the teachings of the Bible to excuse that. That's what cults do. That's what false preachers and teachers do. I guarantee you, I, as a matter of fact, this just dropped in my spirit, I guarantee you, like I said earlier, a lot of the pastors preaching from full pulpits that are preaching false doctrine, they belong to some of these organizations. I almost guarantee it. Jesus didn't create a secret hand code or a secret handshake. He made himself and his grace available for everybody. And guess what? He still does, according to John 3.16. The order has several specific requirements that individuals must meet before they can be adopted into the Eastern Star family. Male candidates must be Masons. So in other words, you can't be an Eastern star unless you have a husband who's a Mason or a sibling or somebody like that. Somebody in the family has to be a Mason before a woman can be an Eastern star. From what I understand. They must be related to uh, Masons before they can be considered. Also, a candidate must have, here we go. A candidate must have a belief in a supreme being. A supreme being. Not a candidate must have a belief in Jesus. If they had a belief, if, if it was like that, it wouldn't be secret. Nor would it be a fraternal order. These fraternal orders... And these sororities are demonic. 
extremely demonic. And like I said yesterday, and I'm going to say it again today, if you know anybody who's an Eastern star, tell them about this. This is dangerous. It's demonic. It's satanic. And it's not doing anything for anybody but promoting Satan and his agenda. That's all it's doing. You notice that these cults are rising in the last days because we are in the last seconds of the last days. Like I've said before, the rapture is here. Therefore, the enemy is rising up his minions and he's trying to put a spirit of deception on you as we speak, even though it's going to be greater than that in the tribulation. He's doing it now. A lot of people are deceived into thinking that they are involved in something that's God related. And it's not God related. It's Satan related. This is why you have to use discernment. It is imperative to stay in the word of God. The candidate must believe in a supreme being, which is a demon. The official website says members of all religious organizations, all religions, may belong to the Order of Eastern Star. Hmm, who does that sound like? Rhymes with Rick Warren. Just saying. He embraces all religions. He wants all Muslims and all Christians to come together as one. That's not going to happen. We only require a belief in a supreme being. That's what they say. In contrast to the nubulous belief system, the Bible presents Jesus as an exclusive Savior and Lord. And for Acts 4.12, salvation is found only in him. For there is no other name given to men by which we must be saved. The Bible says in the book of John, no man comes to the Father except through the Son. The Jehovah's Witness can't explain that one. <laughs> There's a common belief in the Eastern Star Organization that it is a Christian-based organization. That can't be further from the truth. And they simply observe traditions and rituals that support fraternal and historic bonds. That sounds like um, a lot of these college fraternities that are out there. Yeah, they're demonic. However, the Eastern Star teaches that some of their odds with biblical, some of them are at odds with biblical Christianity, you think? Besides denying the exclusive nature of Christ's salvation, the Eastern Star teaches that man is essentially good and places heavy emphasis on good works and community service as a means of earning a relationship with the supreme being. I'm just telling you what's out there. These people are nuts. Once again, we are saved through uh, grace. We are saved by God's grace. Through faith in Christ, period. Not some demon. Also, the group is cloaked in mystery and mysticism. 1 John 1, 1, 5 says, this is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. There is no confusion or darkness in God. Therefore, as his followers, we, we should disengage from sources of worldly darkness, mysticism, confusion, and compromise. These people are crazy. These people, and the funny thing is, you don't know who, who is out there. This is why you have to have discernment. This is why you need discernment. 
I was walking in the other day. I was picking uh, up Cody, my uh, son, my oldest son, from his wrestling practice at high school. And I was walking and I saw, I think it was before Halloween, I saw a man walking with a long black leather coat on. Now, I don't, you know, it's no big deal. And then there were two girls walking behind him, one with purple hair and the other, and they were both in goth, goth meaning dressed darkly. Mm, excuse me. When I saw that man, he walked and in my spirit, I saw something fall off of him. It was following him. It was like a dust that was following him. And I said, I said to my son, I said, he's satanic. He's in the Satan worship. And I prayed right then and there. And I, I just saw it. Ask the Lord to give you discernment. You'd be surprised what you'll see. And sometimes it might scare you. I had to close that blind. Yeah, ask the Lord for discernment because you will see. And like I said, sometimes it'll scare you. But I saw that as plain as day. I didn't even bother to ask Cody, did he see it? Because he didn't. Of course not. But I just saw it and I prayed. Many people join these groups. Such as Eastern Stars and Masons and other fraternities for reasons such as family tradition. Or desire to make friends and belong in the community. Hmm. Something just dropped in my spirit now, but I'll get into it later. Those who join for such reasons may not have given much thought to the works based theology that these places emphasize on. All these places have two things in common. Like I said yesterday and time in the past, they follow Satan and their works based. That's what they are. They follow Satan and they are based on works. Our salvation is not based on works. Our salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. We are not saved by works. We are saved for works, but not by works. And works does not keep us saved. The Bible commands us to test, test the spirits to see whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone out into the world and they are out there now. There are many false uh, uh, prophets out there and they are deceiving many, especially Christians, especially Christians. Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about that. A society that is secret in regards to his theology with God's word, which is supposed to be a, a blight and truth, don't. That's a red flag. Christ is, Christ is all about love. And he displays that publicly, not secretly. You shouldn't be a member of any secret organization. 
especially those that have connections with Eastern stars or Freemasons. Granted, I said a member. You don't know where you're shopping at. We can't, we don't know that. We're not a member of any organization. The shops that we shop at, like Amazon and Walmart, um, you know, they're places that we have to go and shop. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about secret organizations like lodges, fraternal orders, Freemason, Freemasons, Eastern Stars. Those are satanic because they are secret. God is not secret. People want to say the rapture is a secret rapture. It's not a secret. It's right there in the word. Now, many are going to say, well, you know, they're doing God's work. No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm going to get into more of this. I'm going to do um, the Daughters of Job, which is also related to this, and how they indoctrinate young girls into this. It's a family thing. I had cousins who was, my cousin was a Mason, the one whose funeral I went to that I wanted to get out of. His wife was an Eastern star, went to church every Sunday. was fake as, I wanted to say, they were fake as heck. They were just terrible, and especially her. She even went to psychics and mediums. Please, don't get involved in these organizations. They're fake and they are false. I'm going to come back with more this uh, week on this because, like I said, everybody has somebody in their family who's either a Mason or an Eastern star or both. And a lot of times they will force the kids into something like this. And that is definitely wrong. But I'm going to get into more of this this week. Um, I'm going to discuss the Daughters of uh, Job, like I said, which is another organization that targets girls between 12, 10 and 20, I believe. Um, I'm going to get into the Shriners organization, if the Lord's willing. Don't forget, we've had a lot of earthquakes, a lot of birth pains. So we could be flying out of here soon, I pray. In the meantime, have a good day.